Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweater and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing how you can easily color grade your outdoor photos in Capture. So Capture is a raw processing software just like Lightroom, but this is better as I'm about to show you. So without further ado, let's get started. And if at all you have not hit the like button on this video, simply like this video so that YouTube put, can push and recommend this video to many people out there. So simply like this video and you can say before and after. So that's the before, after, before, after. So in Capture, I'll just come and reset it. So in Capture, basically, what you have to understand, it is more advanced and it has layers just like Photoshop. So the first thing before you do any color grading to your raw files in Capture, simply first of all, correct the lighting and contrast issues regarding your photo. You can see this, image, this raw file is a little bit overexposed. So what I'll do, I'll just come to the basic adjustments right here. And I'll simply correct the exposure and contrast issues. So I'll take the highlights down to recover information in the highlights and do the same for the whites. And I'll take down the exposure to properly expose the image. So that's the advantage of shooting in RAW. So I'll simply increase the contrast slightly and slightly open up the shadows. Then we're going to add a little bit of levels to add some contrast to the image so this is okay and now we are done correcting the lighting and contrast issues regarding this very image and the next step is going to be color grading so usually when i'm color grading outdoor images i first of all think about the background so if at all the background is competing with the subject i always want the subject or the model to pop and stand out of the background so I'll first of all correct the background by coming to the layer panel like i said at the start of the tutorial Capture also has layers like Photoshop. So when it comes to this, when it comes to color grading, whenever you're using Capture, simply do the color grading on layers so that you can correct the color grading later on. So for the background, I'll simply come to this plus icon and simply right click on it. So I'll just come to the plus icon and right click on it to create a new field adjustment layer for the color grading. So I'll just come to new field adjustment layer. So it is on this I want to first of all color grade or correct the background in this case. So I'll scroll down to my color editor right here and I'll simply look at the background and analyze it. You can see that the background has some greens and yellows. So since I want the model to pop a little bit out of the background, I'll simply cool down the blues in this image. So I'll just come to the basic panel and I'll come to the greens right here and I'll simply hue them to the aquas and i'll also do the same for the yellows i'll make the yellows more towards the green and you can see now the model is standing out of the background but the greens a little bit oversaturated so i'll simply desaturate the yellows just a little bit and i'll also desaturate the greens so that the model can pop out of the background even more so this is okay then the other issue i am facing i feel like the model is a little bit on the cold side regarding the white balance so i'll come back to the background layer right here and i'll simply take up the white balance up to around 5600 and now remember when you color grading warm skin tones are easy to color grade than cold skin tone that is why i have decided to take up the warms the warmth rather of this very image so right now that looks okay so the next thing that we want to handle we can come back to this background layer and simply make her pants pop a little bit more so we are going to come back to the basic adjustments and simply choose the blue color and simply take up the saturation remember saturation is the intensity of a given color so right now the pants are popping and this is where we are right now just the before after before and after so what we are going to be doing, we are just going to continue color grading and the next thing is going to be handling the skin tone. So if I told you want to color grade and get the best out of the skin tone and make sure that you have a nice and uniform skin color, what we have to do, we are going to come back to the layers right here, the layer panel, and simply right click and create another new field adjustment layer. So after doing that, we are going to come down back to our color editor and simply select skin tone so when you select skin tone simply get the color picker tool so in capture one you 
can simply choose and select the areas that you want the color grading to affect. So I'll simply sample the skin tone of the model. So for this case, I'm just going to sample a warm area within the skin tone. Just that area is okay. So I'll simply choose another warm area. So you click to sample a warm area on the skin. So I'll just come and sample that area. And come to my uniformity option within Capture One. And under uniformity, you can take the hue slider up. So remember the point that we chose on the skin is going to be a representation of the overall skin of the model. So just come to the hue slider and take it up and simply increase the saturation up when you feel like the skin is looking nice and even. So right now the skin is looking even. So if at all you feel like the skin is a little bit more on the yellow side, you can come to the amount slider and you can simply either add greens or magentas. So you can add magentas to your skin tone or you can decide to add greens if at all your skin was a little bit red. So I'll simply add a little bit of uh, the magentas to the model skin. So that is okay. So after ensuring that I've had a uniform skin, you can see that the color grading has affected the red areas. Remember these red areas also are part of makeup sometimes or even the outfit. That is why it has changed the model's lipstick. But at the start of this video, I told you, you always have to color grade on a separate layer or, or in a new field adjustment layer, which we created above here. So that when you overdo a color grading, you can come to opacity and reduce on the color grading. Or you can simply eliminate color grading from given areas. So I'll come to the lips right here and get the eraser tool. Or you can press E on the keyboard. That is the shortcut for the eraser tool. And with the eraser tool selected, I'll simply select the skin tone layer and simply paint over the areas I don't want color grade. And to see this better, simply press M on the keyboard. And that is going to show you a mask of where you're trying to paint. So just paint on the areas that you don't want to be affected uh, by the color grading. Just paint just like that and press M once again to deactivate the mask. So we have also affected uh, the lining of the under garment right here. So just come with the eraser tool and simply paint just like that to reveal back the red color that was affected as we're trying to unify or get uniform skin tones. So this is okay, it looks great. So this is more of a correcting step so after you have done that, the next thing that we are going to do basically is simply doing a split toning for the shadows, the mid, high, the mid tones and the highlights of this very image. So I'll come back right here to the layer panel and create one more final new field adjustment layer. So just right click and create a new field adjustment layer. So I just want to cool down the shadows. Of this image, so I'll just come back to the color editor or the color balance, and you can either add a given color to a mid tone shadows and the highlights. So for it, for this, I just want to cool down the shadows. So you can see that we have this middle point right here. So you can drag and add a given color to a shadows depending on your preference as the person trying to do a color grade. And the closer this circle is to the circumference of this, the more intense that color is going to be. And the closer it is to a center, the less of that color. So I just want to add a tiny bit of blues to uh, the shadows to cool down the image a little bit. So I think that looks okay. So you can see how easy Capture One is and how it is going to transform the images. And you can see what we have right now. So let's, show, let's see a quick before and after for this very image. So this is the image before after before after so you can as well proceed and take the image into photoshop by simply coming to image and coming to edit with and you can choose photoshop to export the image into photoshop so if at all you're working with the raw file i would recommend a tiff file and that tiff file should be a 16-bit because 16-bit images always have more information to deal with and the image is going to be looking better Options, make sure it is uncompressed and the ICC profile rather is Adobe RGB 98. 
the pixel density is 300 pixels per inch and i won't recommend any sharpening the image and simply hit edit variance and the image is going to automatically be imported into photoshop for you to do the final adjustment so this is a before after before after so this is how you can easily color grade your images and if i told you have a number of images to work on you can simply come to adjustments and simply copy the adjustments and simply select a new image and apply the adjust adjustments to a new image from that given session so this is it for this video and if at all you have loved this don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from Ronix photography thank you for watching i see you need more tutorials on this channel and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating